afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Thought I'd switch gears a little bit. Let's do a different kind of towable. A very hard to find kind, and that is a pre-owned expandable. And today we're gonna look at a 2018 Forest River Flagstaff Shamrock 19. This is a hybrid expandable. Very lightweight, 3,934 pounds is all it weighs, guys. And what I love about these expandables, I owned one of these several years ago. It wasn't anywhere near this extravagant or uh, luxurious, but it was, uh, what I like about them is you get a lot smaller camper than you're towing. And if you're looking for sleeping capacity for the size and the weight, these can't be beat, guys. I mean, these things have, uh, this particular one has got two canvas pop-outs. They, they're very easy to set up. You know, th these aren't like pop-ups that can take 30, 40, 45, 50 minutes, maybe even an hour in some cases to set up. I mean, these things set up in 15 minutes with one person once you get the hang of it very easily. Um, and what I like about them is they actually got a real bathroom in them. You know, you actually got a bathroom with the walls around it, a separate shower, your own separate, uh, you know, you actually got a uh, black water holding tank instead of a cassette. You get a lot of benefits over one of these versus a pop-up. And um, not to mention heat and cool them a lot better too. And uh, it's, tw it's only 21 feet, three inches long when you're towing it. But when you're actually set up like it is now, you're 25 feet, seven inches. You get a lot bigger camper than you're towing and you're under uh, 4,000 pounds. And this particular one is under $20,000. So it's a great deal. You go on RV Trader. Guys, uh, there's other 2018s on there for $22,000, $23,000. And, and some idiot dealer out in California has got one for $29,000. And new, they're up in the 40s right now. These things are in high demand new because they don't build that many of them compared to other typical travel trailers. And I actually have... And I'm going to try to film them over the next couple of days. I've got one, two, three, I believe four of these for sale right now used expandable style travel trailers. Now, these aren't for everyone, guys. This is, you know, everybody's got their own version of RVing. Some people want some luxury, but they still want the camping tent feel. And that's why they like these hybrids because you've got these canvas ends like a tent and you can unzip this cover right here and still have a screen to keep bugs out and let the fresh night air in but you still got heat and air and bathroom and a full kitchen and more you got a power awning with a led light strip and i've got this one plugged into power and that's one reason why i want to go ahead and film these guys that last one about broke me with no air with 104 heat index right now so I am definitely going to have to rig something up to run AC on these travel trailers if I'm going to film them with this kind of heat. Um, so I'm going to concentrate more on these that are close enough I can run power to them for electricity for air. But you've got two canvas pop-outs. They look great. Got a good shine to it. I mean, this thing's in excellent condition, guys. 30 amp electrical service. I mean... You can't tell any difference between this and a 2022, except when you look online at the 2022s, this thing's half price. And you don't get all the, we don't have all the fees and upsells that you do with other dealerships too that can add thousands more to that new price or even other used ones. <clears throat> Tires look great. Got an outside shower, six gallon DSI gas electric water heater, frameless windows. It's actually a uh, pretty far back back of book too. It's it's three or four grand back of NADA retail. Power tongue jack, double uh, LP bottles. And what's nice about these things is you don't have to put these beds out to load them and unload them. And even to camp in them, you don't have to put the beds out or you can just put one bed out. Basically they become your inside wall when they're folded up. In other words, you look underneath it Got a little condensation from the AC. This is the side of your camper. Unlike a pop-up where you either have to set them up or set them down all the way, there's no in between to load them or unload them. This right here, you still got almost full use of the camper even when the beds are popped in or folded up in. Let's look inside and get out of this heat. 39-34 dry weight. And, uh, of course, I don't have the stabilizers down. It is a double axle. 
so it's not going to sway anything like that oh yeah <laughs> air conditioner incredible oh <laughs> let's just stay here for the rest of the video <laughs> I'm telling you guys wow ton of space in here look here at the back first this is a queen bed and again this mattress becomes your interior wall so you've got full access to everything when your rooms are in this is your monitor panel control panel awning control uh, you do have a wi-fi uh, range extender you can turn on and off right here interior light switches uh, place you can put a TV on that wall if you wanted to the TV is in here for the main part But it doesn't have one there. It does have a brand that never even unpacked They they've got a fan and a light that mounts on that pole right there never been unpacked out of the box still brand new in the box No mildew. I don't think they've ever had this end out. No mildew mold anything like that on either canvas Bathroom go ahead and show that Because I want to stay out here where the AC is mostly at. Um, a lot bigger than a pop-up, guys. You've actually got an RV toilet that actually goes into a black water tank like a regular RV does. That air feels good in here, too. Shower, skylight, no signs of water damage, no smoke or pet odors. It's nice, guys. Now, it does have a little water on the countertop when I plug this thing up. Some joker had turned the water pump switch on and then turned the faucets on. The time I got in here, some of the water had got on the uh, thing. So the water system works. <laughs> I can promise you that. So it pressurizes. Three burner stove top. It's actually got an oven. And a microwave. And I'll show you real quick. I think I left the water. No, I think I. You see the water system works. I think I turned the water pump off, but there's still residual pressure. And here's what I'm talking about, guys. Even with the rooms in, your table booth's going to make a bed, and your couch is going to make a bed. And that's your brand new. Uh, looks just like the one over there. That's a little uh, fan and a light that mounts up on that pole. Uh, remote TV works great. I turned the stereo on earlier. If you boondock camp, it does have a fantastic vent fan. All the LED lights work. Man, I tell you, it's hot out there. I mean, it's hot enough to drink a random bottle of water found in an RV fridge. That's half. That's half drink. Actually, I'm just joking, guys. I brought that in here. <laughs> But there has been times I've about been that thirsty, believe me. And uh, it's actually already starting to get cold. I put it on LP to kind of rush it up. And uh, it is uh, it is starting to get cold. <laughs> no, I would never do that. And I would never recommend doing that either. But <laughs> but I'd have a little fun with you. And you can see guys got a queen bed and these are heated mattresses too. And you've got the heat, the heat controls are in there. Uh, remote control, all the books and manuals are in here. I mean, it's a nice camper guys. And I like the fact that because another thing I like about an expandable is you get more living space because you know with a traditional 21 foot three inch camper or even a 25 and a half foot camper, um, you know, eight or nine feet of that is your master bedroom. And so you get a lot, I mean, you only get, what, 14, 15 foot of living space. But this one, because the bed space, and you actually got two bedrooms, you got one on the front and one on the back, if you don't count the middle space with this sofa and this table booth, makes two separate beds. You've got two bedrooms that are not even included in that 21 foot, three inch long length. So you've got 21 feet, over 21 feet of nothing but living space. And to get and to get a two bedroom camper, 
uh, with that kind of living space, you're going to be look. You're looking at almost a 40 foot camper. But this one's only 21 feet three inches when you're towing it. So, like I said, sleeping space and 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 room for the buck, you can't beat this. 2018 model at $17,900, lowest priced 18 on RV, uh, 19 Shamrock on RV Trader by several thousand dollars, no fees. Um, wow, and we'll show you, of course, you know, we'll hook it up to power, we'll show you your water system works, we'll check the water heater for you, uh, water pump, we'll make sure the refrigerator and freezer gets to operating temperature. Um, I mean, which it, it is. I mean, of course, right now, you know, it's 104 degree heat index, guys. It's going to take that AC a little while to catch up. It's it's a lot cooler in here than outside, but you need to leave that thing on two or three hours so you notice a huge, huge, huge difference. And even then, I mean, most, most ACs are only designed to cool it off about 25 degrees less than ambient outside temperature. Yeah. 104 heat index. I'm watching the weather report right now in Chattanooga. 96 degree temperature. No kid as of right now. <laughs> I would love it. <clears throat> he's probably talking about how hot it is while he's sitting in the air conditioned studio. Of course, he is wearing a suit, so I mean, I guess I can I can understand uh, where he's coming from. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. nice one guys really is i like that fantastic vent fan in case you do go camping out in the woods you don't want to run a generator you still got ability to move some air of course the main thing is you've got three panels right here that you can unzip and open at night and let some fresh night air in i had an aero light many years ago when i used to deer hunt and i love that thing guys i mean it was just a basic little 14 14 15 footer if i remember right had just two ends and nothing else in a bathroom and a little and a little couch and a, and a kitchen that was it and uh that was the best night's sleep unzipping that and it was so easy to set up a little single axle um and it's just so neat because you know that's the best night's sleep to me and i know now that it may not be you know what i would be into now because everybody's version of RVing changes as they grow older and they get more experience with RVing but back in my 20s early 20s that was really great and for those that are young at heart that's really great um, and even with this this is the best of both worlds you still get the glamping aspect of it back here but you get the camping aspect of it when you're at bed at night so it's kind of the best of both worlds uh, and this is a uh, really nice pre-owned hybrid. These are not easy to find, guys. I mean, literally, um, there's 200,000 RVs on RV Trader that's new and used, and there's only a handful of Shamrocks new and used on there in a Shamrock 19, like seven or eight out of 200,000. And that's all years new and used. So these aren't... Um, easy to find and this one's 17 9 it's the lowest priced one on there without going back to like a 2006 model and that's the only way you're going to beat this price and this is a 2018 very nice condition upholstery is perfect no smoke no pet odors we show you the major stuff work now i seriously doubt there's anything wrong with it but if there is any mickey mouse stuff we leave that to you to fix or not fix. We just make sure the major stuff works. Air conditioner, refrigerator, freezer, water system, water pump, water heater. That's what we cover, guys. Anything else is sold as is, where is. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's your responsibility to either come look at it yourself, uh, inspect it yourself before deciding to buy it or not buy it, see what works and what doesn't. Or my suggestion is always with any new or used RV, that's right, even new, hire a third-party RV inspection service. Best money you could ever spend. Highly recommend them. And yes, guys, I'm a dealer recommending you hire a third-party RV inspector. I think anybody buys one that does, it's crazy. You don't buy a house without 
getting a home inspection done why should you buy an rv a few hundred dollars and you know everything about it guys and and um you know any rv you buy let me go ahead and clarify this any rv you buy whether it's a 2022 a 2018 a, a 2008 a 1992 uh, don't matter the year you're going to work on it don't matter if it's new if it's used you're going to work on it you're going to have repairs that's going to come up you're going to have maintenance upkeep upgrades you're always going to have something on any rv you buy it doesn't matter the brand the type drivable towable you're always going to have something it may be something a five minute fix maybe a five hour fix a five day fix you're always going to have something you need to do to the rv sorry about that guys my camera overheated even with this uh, air running so uh, i gotta love it. what i'm getting at guys you will have to work on any rv you buy that's just the nature of owning one ask anybody that's ever had one and they tell you the same thing i've owned rvs for 25 years i'm not gonna blow smoke up your rear end if a salesperson or anybody tells you otherwise they're lying to you but uh you know we cover the major stuff we leave any mickey mouse stuff to you so we can save you money obviously you look on rv trader we're saving you thousands of dollars off any other uh, except for one that's you know 10, 10 11 years older we're saving you thousands off off any other uh 18 model flagstaff 19 on the market right now so and plus we don't charge you any fees besides applicable sales tax like you pay on anything you buy so it's 17.9 plus applicable sales tax if you're interested give us a call 706-965-7929 we take trade-ins and we have nationwide delivery for dollar 50 a loaded mile thanks again for watching guys i really appreciate it appreciate each and every one of y'all um thank y'all for watching and uh hit that thumbs up i'll try to uh shoot a couple of motorhomes tomorrow if i can if not i still have some more towables uh definitely got a great selection of both right now uh can definitely save you a ton of money i don't care where you live at guys it really pays to come to ringgold georgia to buy your next used rv whether you tow it you drive it fifth wheel travel trailer expandable toy hauler uh class a b c b plus uh gas diesel it don't matter guys i can save you enough i can save you more than enough money to make it worth your while to come here I've got stuff, you know, I'm the only dealer right now posting stuff, thousands and thousands and thousands. I've got motorhomes out there, guys, 20, 25 grand back of being a DA retail. And even further back than that, from other dealers are asking for the same year make and model. I've got travel trailers, thousands under this, what the same year make and model are bringing online. Plus, I don't charge you fees and I don't have the upsells. I don't mark interest rates up on RV financing. Other dealers do. I don't care if you pay cash. Other dealers charge more for cash sales. I don't care how you pay for it, guys. Cash, trade, finance. The price is a price. Of course, they're all haggle-free firm. We've got the best prices on the internet, folks. Bar none. Don't believe me? Get on my website. Get on RV Trader. Start comparing. I like using RV Trader because that's the one that most everybody uses. Because you're not looking at two and three, two or three-year-old ads. You have, when you advertise an RV trader, if you don't renew it every 60 or 90 days, they charge you. It, they, it, you don't renew it, they delete your ad. So everything's fairly recent on there, including prices. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We do offer delivery for $1.50 a mile. And again, financing available with approved credit down payment. Thanks again, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.